Demos. 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 Dynamic. Dynamic. Demos. <laughs> yep, there you go. We did it. I need to know what we're doing. Hello Imperium, this is Josiah the Headflame of Friday here with an installment of uh, Dynamic yeah, Demos. It's been a while. Alright, uh, this week we're talking about destroyer weapons. Destroyer weapons are these. The uh, imperial example is these big chainsaws right here. Or uh, D-strength weapons as it were. Uh, D-strength weapons instead of the standard armor penetration rolls and whatnot, or even rolling to wound, you instead roll in this little convenient destroyer weapon chart. Uh, you roll a d6 on the chart, uh, uh, one, uh, against vehicles or buildings is a lucky escape, the model is unharmed, uh, same for, uh, non-vehicle units that are hit, uh, two to five is a solid hit, d3, uh, hull points plus one, uh, one against vehicles, and, uh, sorry, d3 hull points instead of one, a lot of people forget that, uh, and, uh, against, uh, infantry, it is d3 wound instead of one, whereas a six on, uh, is a devastating hit, uh, model suffers a penetrating hit, uh, causes it to lose d6 plus one hull, uh, d6 hull points, plus six hull points instead of one, sorry about that, a little tongue twister there, uh, no saves of any kind are allowed against a 6 on the D-Weapon chart, by the way. Uh, same goes for infantry. Uh, D6 plus 6 wounds instead of 1. No saves of any kind allowed. Uh, however, against non-6 rolls, we have a little thing right here. Alright, so we have a little assault phase thing, thing here set up. Uh, first off, we're going to have uh, the knight charge this here. David. These here space marines, they're in close combat now, going through initiative step. Uh, got a power fist, so the terminator's going to be striking last. Uh, wolf guard and the uh, knight, though, have the same initiative, so they're going to be attacking each other at the same time. Uh, just for some basics here, I'm just going to roll a few dice. Uh, they're going to need force to hit each other. Wolf guard does not hit the knight. Knight does not hit the wolf guard. <laughs> Let's just say they both did hit each other for the purpose of <laughs> uh, Wolf Guard doesn't have the strength to penetrate the knight's armor, but the knight just rolls on this here D-chart to determine what kind of wounds happen. I rolled a 4, which as I said earlier is seriously wounded. D3 wounds instead of 1. That's another 4, so that's 2 wounds and a dead Wolf Guard because he doesn't have an invulnerable save. The Terminator on the other hand Let's just recreate that whole same scenario. Two hits on the uh, hit on the Terminator. Uh, Terminator gets a uh, roll on the deal chart real quick. Don't uh, got to follow the order of operations. Roll on the deal chart. And the three. Uh, three is the same as the result of what happened with the Wolf Guard. D three wounds instead of one. But he gets an he has an invulnerable save five plus, which he fails. So he also takes. Three wounds, and he also dies. Now, if uh, that had been a six instead of a three, he wouldn't have gotten the chance to roll that in rolling safe. Hopefully you have an understanding of destroyer weapons now. I'm Josiah the Heavy Flame of Fry, and this has been Dynamic Demos.